This product is a great feature enhancement and convenience to add to any home. But the age-old issue that it resolves for couples before bedtime is priceless. Misplaced my scarf. Let me out of here, man. Well, thank you. You ain't happy to get no ass to. Where you going? I'm out of here. Going to get the remote light switch. I found my scarf. Wait, wait, baby, come back. Who's gonna turn out the light? <sighs> <Just stop. laughs> 
Well, that's typically how it goes down in a couple's household. So you tell me, is it practical? Sure it is. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how I installed a remote control dimming light switch in my bedroom. Let's get started. What up, people? It's your boy, VJC Class, coming at you today because uh, I'm going to be doing a project. I'm going to be installing a remote control light switch in uh, my bedroom, and I'm going to show you the procedure that I used to install this successfully, and um, you can follow along as well. The procedure performed in this video was not performed by a licensed electrician nor a technician representative of the product's manufacturer. This video only shows how I did it myself. Always take extra precaution when working with electricity. Consult safety with a professional before doing it yourself. Always read and follow the instructions provided with the product you have selected. Okay, um, number one, go out and pick up your product. Here's the product I chose. I picked it up at one of the popular home improvement centers for just $39.99. It's a remote control light dimmer switch. If you buy this type of light switch, you absolutely cannot install this on a system that has a ballast in it. Okay, what is a ballast? Fluorescent lighting. Everyone knows what fluorescent lighting is? The long white bulbs, the fluorescent light bulbs that they have now on the market. This too is a fluorescent light bulb. Its new design enables you to screw it into a standard light socket. The ballast is contained within the bulb itself and not the fixture. Note the caution label. It says, not for use with dimmers. Here's a typical fluorescent light bulb and fixture setup. The ballast is contained within the fixture. If the circuit you're working on has either of these types of lights in the system, a dimmer switch will not work. In this particular case, the entire fixture would have to be removed. Where in this case, you only need to replace the light bulb with an incandescent bulb or a halogen bulb. All right, now that you've gotten your light switch and you've brought it home, you're ready to install it. These are the steps that you're gonna take. Number one, you're gonna wanna do this during the day. Another step, make sure that you've removed the power from the circuit that you're gonna be working on. You gotta locate your circuit breaker box. And this is what we have here. This is a circuit breaker box. Now that you've located your circuit breaker box, you're gonna wanna find the circuit that your light is um, that your light is on. One way of doing this. To ensure that you're removing the power from the proper switch or circuit that you're gonna be working on, go to the switch that you're going to work on Put it in the on position. Make sure that the light is on. Return to your circuit breaker box and flip the correct switch. If the switch is not no, you may have to repeat this step several times, returning to the room and to the circuit breaker box to ensure that you have the correct switch. Here, in my case, I am able to observe the power being removed as I'm flipping the switch at the circuit breaker box. In a larger home where this is not possible, a helping hand goes a long way. But even then, repeat this step several times to ensure that you have the proper circuit. Here's the reason for doing this during the day. You'll need all the light you can get. Okay guys, here's a tip from videography and photography. Always have your own light. By that meaning, use an adjacent room or an adjacent circuit that's not turned off to plug a light and extension cord in to light your work area. We made sure that we removed power from our light source. That light switch is off. Tape. The circuit breaker box closed and put a note on it that you're working on a particular circuit, okay? Especially if you're working in a really, really large house, maybe you're on the top floor, the circuit breaker is in the basement. If someone should go to that circuit breaker box while you're working on this switch, you don't want them to throw that switch. So you wanna make sure 
label that circuit, put a piece of tape to let anyone who doesn't know that we're working on a circuit not to turn that circuit on. Remember, very, very important. Don't forget that step. That is one of the most important steps. Okay, now, what tools do we need? Gotcha. Here are the tools you will need. Oh, and I did add a pair of pliers. You'll see why later in the video. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in on this and do the removal of the old light switch, okay? Here I'm using a flathead screwdriver to remove the flathead screws that hold the faceplate in place. Here's yet another tool you may need for this project. Using a sharp razor blade, just score the paint around the faceplate so as not to remove any additional paint from the wall. There you go. And there's your switch exposed. Now that the switch is exposed, we're going to need to use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the Phillips head screws that hold the switch in place. These Phillips head screws are the universal type that have the provision for a flathead screwdriver. So I'll just go ahead and continue using the flathead screwdriver. Be sure and note where the wires are placed on the switch. If the switch is labeled red or green or black, negative or positive. Home electrical wiring is very tough and taut. So you may have to pull a little firmly on the switch to remove it from the wall. Okay, two more screws and we can set this switch free. While in the midst of your project, um, being a responsible person, this should not be. Either you wanna use your black electrical tape to tape this, always make sure there's no exposed wire inside your circuit boxes. Make sure you cover them up before you install them back in the wall. These are really, really strong, tough wires. Don't be afraid to push them in there and make sure that they're all the way inside. Tighten them nice and snug because the amount of force that you're going to use to push this switch into the wall, you don't want your wires to come loose. One thing that I like to do is I like to just run tape around the two connections. It just makes me feel comfortable. Okay, now that we've got the switch all wired up, we taped up any exposed wire. We taped up so that it's not exposed. Now we want to put the switch inside the box. This particular light switch has a face plate. You're going to want to remove this. You have to release these tabs. So one here, one there. Your light switch may be different if it's not the same brand as this. Thank you. 
that releases the face plate. Tuck those wires in as far as you can and then the rest you're going to do just by pushing on the switch itself. Now that you've got your switched, pushed into the wall where you know it's going to fit inside the wall, usually the hardware will come with screws. If it doesn't come with screws, you want to take the screws out of your old switch. That's these screws. Take them out of the old switch and transfer them over to the new switch. It seems to be easiest to start with the top screw. Once you have that screw in place, it'll make it easier and line the switch up for the bottom screw to go in. These screws don't necessarily have to be any particular tightness, but you want to screw it until the plate itself is mounted flush to the wall. There's no gaps or anything around the edges. Nice and secure. And now you can just take your face plate and snap it back on. There, and it's complete. Okay, now that your switch is installed, but now that you have the power on, you want to check the functionality of your switch. And there's a very faint green light that lets you know that this switch has power. Well, that's it guys. One in remote control, digital light switch installed. Be sure and watch some of my other projects that I post. BJC class, I'm out. Thank you.